<clears throat> yeah, you know, I think we had a, a much better uh, fight and energy about us compared to Thursday. Um, we came out, I think, had a, had a pretty decent start. Um, you know, so much of the game is about, you know, little things and little details. Um, and if you don't take care of a little bit of those details, they kind of compile up, right? Um, and so obviously the biggest number on here, I think, is the 24 turnovers. Um, and just us not taking care of the basketball like we have been, I would say, the last few games. Um, so needing a day like that was, was really important. Um, and then we did a better job of containing the glass in the, in the second half. Um, I, I told the team we had two quarters of under 20 points. That's what we've really been aiming for from a defensive standpoint. Um, now trying to get three or four quarters like that, and it'll make us a pretty special group. Yeah, um, it was just like more than anything taking care of the basketball. You know, I think we might have had 13 or 14 at the half. So for us, you know, that's that's not a very good ball control type half. Um, and, and so much of it was about the defensive end for us. We were really harping on defense, um, focusing on that side of the basketball. Um, you know, but, but when you turn it over, then that leads to transition opportunities for the other team. So it makes it hard to get set in a defense, you know, if you turn the basketball over. So I would say at halftime, we, we felt like we were in a good place. We had a good, solid first half, um, but, but obviously wanted a different outcome at the end of this. Uh, yeah, just the balance in scoring. Obviously, we, we want that every night. Um, Ava having 12 rebounds, um, finding some, some balance in scoring with our bigs as well. The last few games, I feel like those two have been pretty consistent um, in finding that balance in scoring. Uh, you know, it's, it's, to me, it's just it's about defense. It has been about defense the last month or so that we've really got to lock in on and focus on. We've got to find ways to get stops, you know, find ways to contain the, the offensive glass because they had – 16 offensive rebounds, I think 13 of them might have come in the first half. You know, that gave them extra opportunities where we could have lengthened the game. We could have given ourselves a chance to take a lead and to, to be in a place going into the half um, on top. But, uh, you know, so much of rebounding is, is effort. It's um, a want for the ball. Um, and then it's defensive rotations. You know, sometimes people have to step over and help, and now someone else has to rotate over and help their teammate helping the helper we, we talk about a lot. Um, and so all around, our group has got some better vibes and got some better energy about them. And so now we need a week of practice that has that every day um, to translate into the next game against Lindenwood. Molly well, finished 50% from the floor and led the team with 18 points while also dishing out the assists of the team's 17. Talk a little bit about your ball distribution today. Um, yeah, I mean, again, like we said, it, our focus today was mainly on defense. and. Um, I thought our bigs did a great job finishing when we got them the ball. I think all eight of my assists were both to live in Hallie. Um, and Veronica Charles is a heck of a defender, so she definitely made it hard for me to get looks in the three-point line or anything. Um, and they were, they were helping quite a bit. So, you know, Hallie and Liv ducking in, I think that's where, you know, those eight assists come from. But, um, again, yeah, I think just we're, we're right there. And, um, you know, we're scoring, and the scoring part will take care of ourselves. I think it's just – defense part and putting it all together and the wins will come. Olivia, as Molly just mentioned, uh, a lot of her assists came to you in the paint. Um, your teammates are finding you very good open looks. Um, you finished one of three double figures. Talk a little bit about your performance today. Um, I have to give it all up to my teammates, honestly. Like Molly finding me, we've put a big thing on, you know, finding the post when they're open, being patient and things like that. And I think a lot of it comes from also like crashing the glass. If I'm getting an O board, that's another chance or I can get fouled or whatever else may happen. But I think we have to go back to putting everything on the defensive end, stop getting stops there, getting easier buckets in transition. I mean, that's really all we can leave it up to at this point. Coach, I know uh, Randy mentioned it to you on radio, but Yeah. Yeah. Um, really impressive and, and a freshman at that, you know, the amount of minutes she's been playing and um, it's pretty phenomenal to have someone who's five foot four, five foot five on a good day, maybe, um, you know, snatching 12 rebounds um, and that being, you know, something maybe we could all learn from a little bit in terms of going to get the ball. Um, but she's a freshman still, there's still time to grow. Um, still makes mistakes, you know, so she's learning through all this and all this process. Um, not many freshmen, they get to play this many minutes and get to learn through all their mistakes, you know, and she gets to do that right now today um, and in this year. So uh, pretty great experience for her, I would say. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great balance that we have on the offensive end, but so much of it is about guarding. You know, it's about guarding, um, taking care of the basketball, 
really love our team when we run offense and we are a little bit more patient. Um, you know, and that was maybe different than the beginning of the year. The beginning of the year, we were a little more fast-paced, pushing the basketball, you know, finding someone like KK Rodriguez. She's not here anymore. So our team has to understand that, that we need to play team basketball. We need to share the basketball. We need to run offense. When we do that, things are going to change. Yeah, I think uh, you're at the point of the year and you're looking at the OVC where every game's a winnable game, you know, uh, and as a group, as a team, we have to find some confidence in that and some motivation. Um, you know, I talked to them at the end about how, like, yeah, we're in the bottom half of the league right now, but, you know, those next teams up that, you know, seven, eight, nine above us, six, seven, eight, nine, like, they all have one win. Like, we're one win away, two wins away from, like, being right there and having the opportunity to go to a conference tournament. We have to start thinking about that right now. Like this game against Lindenwood really matters. This game against SEMO really matters because you're right there, you're close. You know, so our group's just got to understand how important every possession is, how important every practice is, and how important every game is. Thanks.